Welcome my friends to another video, Gabriel here and tonight I'm gonna talk about uh, Bentley for Man in Tense. This is uh, one of the most hyped fragrances on the internet, especially on uh, sites such as uh, Fragrantica. Um, to be honest with you, I've never seen so many um, hyped reviews for a fragrance my whole life as I've seen uh, for this one right here uh, don't get me wrong this is an excellent uh, fragrance but um, at least uh, in my opinion um, I don't think that uh, it deserves uh, so much hype and uh, so much uh, uh, overreacting actually to be to be really honest with you so what we have here, it's um, a fragrance that came um, on the market in uh, 2013. It was made by uh, Natalie Lorson, uh, the same um, perfumier who made uh, La Lique en Cremor, one of my favorite scents uh, period. And um, the juice itself, it's uh, very interesting. Um, let's talk about the notes we have in the beginning bergamot black pepper and uh, also bay leaf in the heart of the fragrance we have uh, clary sage african geranium cinnamon rum and woody notes and in the base we have um, leather benzoin incense cedar and uh, patchouli so how does it smell to be honest with you, this is one uh, one fragrance that uh, I honestly uh, disliked at uh, the first uh, wearings, if you want. Um, this happened to me with some other fragrances in my collection, uh, one of which uh, made by Rassasi, uh, Rassasi Fakat Al Rijal, which is a uh, wood-based uh, fragrance, uh, had the same um, let's say uh, experience uh, to me uh, like this one and um, I didn't like it in the beginning and why is that in this case with uh, the Bentley uh, my problem with this fragrance is that uh, in the beginning of uh, the wearing uh, this fragrance smells like uh, something uh, medicinal um, it actually smells like uh, cough syrup if you know uh, the cough syrup when you're uh, a kid and you would uh, get a cold or something then uh, your parents or your grandparents would give you some uh, cough syrup and uh, this is what I get with the opening of this fragrance um, the bergamot combi uh, combined with the bay leaf and the black pepper it's very very powerful it's um, it's a bomb if you want it punches you right in the nose and um, all these three elements combined give you that uh, medicine uh, type of uh, scent so uh, the other biggest issue with the opening for me is that it lasts on the skin very very long um, at least three hours on my skin i can smell the opening after the two hour mark um, you start to to feel the rum and also the leather that uh, we have uh, in the middle uh, of this fragrance and uh, afterwards, after those three hours, uh, you can really start feeling uh, the rum and the leather which uh, dominate the whole fragrance. Um, also, you get a little bit of uh, clary sage and a lot of cinnamon. That's uh, one thing that I, uh, that I get from this fragrance uh, throughout um, its heart. And uh, of course, after the 8 or maybe 10 hour mark, um, you get to the base where you can feel the benzoin, the incense, a little bit of patchouli, 
I would have preferred the, the patchouli to be more uh, predominant, uh, if you ask me. And you can also feel the leather again. Um, this scent gets a lot of compliments, don't get me wrong. A lot of people like it uh, from the opening. Something that I don't actually enjoy. I do enjoy the heart and the base because this fragrance is not a linear fragrance it uh, transforms uh, throughout the, the wearing and um, the scent becomes simply amazing in the in the heart of the fragrance and uh, in the base it's uh, somewhat sweet but not um, let's say um, very sweet like uh, Jean Paul Gaultier Ultramal for example or uh, One Million from uh, Paco Rabanne it's uh, more of a uh, gourmand type of uh, sweetness and um, I would say that uh, the leather combined with the rum and also with uh, um, the incense uh, makes a powerful combination um, that uh, simply makes this uh, fragrance amazing. Also, for those of you who probably owned or uh, still own uh, Dior Fahrenheit, this fragrance may seem uh, a bit similar to that one, um, mainly because we also get some benzoin in this one, and combined with the leather and with, uh, with uh, the rum, and also uh, with the black pepper uh, gives um, how should I say it um, makes this uh, this fragrance to, to to be very similar with uh, with uh, uh, your Fahrenheit and also you also get uh, although uh, not very strong uh, but you do get uh, a whiff of um, of diesel, if you know what I mean. Um, that's why I say that this one, in uh, some regards, resembles, but just a bit, just a tiny little bit with uh, Dior Fahrenheit. Uh, I would say that in terms of uh, uniqueness, this fragrance is uh, so and so. Mm, I'm not very impressed with the unique factor of this uh, this fragrance. In terms of performance, and this is one of my uh, biggest problems with uh, all those overhyped uh, reviews that I've read on uh, Fragrantica, uh, I don't see this one to be a um, beast mode um, fragrance. It might be my skin, I don't know, but uh, I've seen people saying that uh, this one um, easily lasts 24 hours. I've seen people saying that this one easily lasts uh, 14 plus hours and so on with a uh, projection of uh, 8 hours or 10 hours uh, and so on. On my skin I get at least 8 hours of wearing. Um, the most I got was somewhere around uh, 10 to 11 hours. Also projection is very good for the first, uh, I would say, uh, four to five hours. Mainly because the opening uh, lasts uh, forever. And uh, in my case, I don't really like it. Uh, I do consider that uh, the bay leaf uh, in the opening somewhat, uh, I don't know, destroys the opening of this, uh, this fragrance. I would have preferred to be only bergamot with black pepper without the bay leaf, but uh, that's my personal opinion. You get a lot of uh, rum and a lot of leather, you get uh, some incense in the background and um, a bit of benzoin and you do get uh, some black pepper, um, especially in the opening, but also throughout uh, the wearing of uh, this fragrance. Um, as I said, it um, attracts a lot of compliments it's um, a very safe choice for uh, somebody who wears um, a suit and tie um, I wouldn't recommend this fragrance for uh, 
younger crowds. This certainly is a uh, fragrance for a more mature man, 30 years old and above. Uh, I would actually dare to say uh, 35 years and uh, above. Um, I actually see this uh, fragrance to be worn, especially with uh, with a suit and tie, but also in some uh, let's say casual uh, scenarios with uh, I don't know. Uh, leather jacket, uh, you know, the bad boy type. Um, definitely not for younger crowds and uh, for any kind of occasions. So versatility, uh, versatility is not a uh, strong point for this uh, fragrance, but this is a very good fragrance to, to be worn in uh, special occasions if you want. Um, classy events and so on. What can I say? Mm, not the biggest fan of the opening. I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, the opening from uh, Rasasi Fakatal Rijal, which is an amazing, amazing scent. I highly recommend that you, you try that, um, uh, that one uh, also. But um, as I said, this is not a linear scent and um, so it becomes a lot, a lot more wearable, enjoyable and uh, very distinct, if you ask me, um, after you pass the opening. Excellent for the price. You can buy uh, this bottle, 100 uh, milliliters, for uh, somewhere around uh, 40 dollars, 40 euros, depending on uh, your region. I paid for mine uh, around 30 euros. So, um, I highly recommend this uh, to be part of your collection, um, especially if you're a guy like me who, who likes to, to collect uh, fragrances. Great, but not uh, the best and the best as um, a lot of people consider it. This has been Bentley for Man Intense. I also recommend another fragrance from uh, the house of Bentley. Uh, besides their luxury cars, I recommend Bentley Absolute for men. Another uh, great fragrance that I had the opportunity to sniff and which um, I actually enjoyed a lot. Okay, this does it. Um, the best description for this uh, fragrance I got from my fiance. She said that this one smells like cognac. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.